Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install and play the game Sky Children of the Light on an Apple Silicon Mac. So if you've got an N series Mac, like an M1, 2, M3 or M4 Mac, then today I'm going to be showing you how to install and play this game. So you can't play the Steam version of this game because that is Windows only. So if you want to play the Mac compatible version, then we're going to be using the App Store instead. And Although there is no official Mac port, we can actually play the iPad version, which has got optimizations for macOS. So it supports the full Mac resolution. We're going to go up to 120 hertz. And it also supports controllers as well. So I'm going to show you the full process of how to get this working. So to download Sky Children on Light, what we're going to do is to go to the App Store here. And we're going to do a search for Sky. And we'll find Sky Children on Light here. And what we're going to do is to go ahead and download this. So you'll notice that there is no Mac app. However, we're going to be running the iPad version of the game and this is fine. It's going to work great on the Mac. So we're going to be downloading this and it's just saying one minute, 30 seconds to download. So once that's downloaded, we're going to press the open button here and it's going to go ahead and launch the game. So even though that this is an iPad app, it's actually going to work great on the Mac. So here we're going to go ahead and play. If you have an account already, then you can go ahead and sign in. But I'm going to be playing with my Apple account, basically. So this is Sky Children of the Light. Here this first level is loading up. And here you can see that you can also play the game using controller, which I've paired to macOS, and this is all working great. So gameplay seems to be working really well. So there is one annoying macOS bug, which is the fact that there is a battery indicator showing only 1% battery at the bottom of the screen. This seems to be a long-standing bug, but apart from that, everything else seems to be working fine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.